Hello, good morning. Okay, so this is what I finished. I finished rolling all of those tubes. I glued the tubes, two tubes to each roll. So there are two rolls or two tubes to each one of these little rolls. And there are 58 of them total. Um, yeah, so I still have to put some Mod Podge on these to make them shiny like this stuff is right here. Um, but beyond that, these are pretty much ready. I'm going to have to start my next, um, I have, I have to cut some more paper and start doing that. Uh, it just, I don't know. I like the way these turned out. They turned out really good. Um, I like all the different colors, like nothing really matches, you know, I like that. You know, it just, a lot of these turned out pretty cool. I think this one's probably one of my favorites because it has, you know, a couple different colors in it. Actually, I have quite a few favorites in here. I I don't know. I guess I like them all. I, I don't know. But, yeah. Anyway, so there are 58 of these. And I don't remember how many go around the outside. But I probably am just going to, after I finish, you know, these I have to varnish. And, oops, what, don't push too hard on them because I will uh, undo them. Um... I will have to put some Mod Podge, and I probably will have to just stick with the glossy. If I was probably not, if I was doing this again, I'd probably tr stick with like a matted version. But since the glossy is the kind I had, I just used that. So anyway, I'm going to, once those, these are all shiny and look nice, I'm going to hot glue a dab here and glue the, glue these around the outside this way. And then I think what I said I would do is, let's see if I can get that to stay. So it was on the next row, I will come out like this. So that way my bowl does go at an incline and I can, you know, whatever. I hope that turns out. That's my plan on what how I plan to build these sides. And hopefully, you know, I can get it, hopefully I can get it about that high, you know, a good two or three inches high. Um, I am gonna have to roll more, which means I'm gonna have to try to find some more paper. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to roll some more because I know 58 is probably only gonna do one circle and maybe a half of another. So this project does use up my magazine paper quite easily, which is good because I really have too many magazine pages. And all right, well, I'm going to end for now. And I just figured I'd update what I had done over the weekend. I may or may not get a lot of projects done this week because I have to get my house ready. I've got to uh, start getting some of my food stuff ready for set Sunday because I'm having family over on Sunday. So, and I'm kind of excited about it because... I don't know it you know if anything that groups have taught me even though I don't go to celebrate recovery anymore um they did you know the program did help me overcome my fear of my older brother so and now we actually have a a working and viable relationship as you know brother and sister and he actually doesn't mind doesn't seem to mind doing things with me he's even offered to do things over the summer which I think is awesome because I don't have any family that actually seems that they want to do anything with me so it's cool that my older brother wants to uh do stuff with me you know he's even said he want he'll he'll just take me out on the boat whenever I want to which is cool uh he knows I hopefully he knows uh if we do go fishing that I do not touch the bait. I, I can't stand worms. I don't mind other bait, but I cannot do earthworms. I just, I just, uh, uh -uh. I just don't like the way they go. <laughs> I just, I've never liked that feeling in my hand where you feel it stretch out and then shrink in. Oh, I just can't stand that. I don't know. Anyway, um, that's all for another you know, video later on in life, I guess. 
So anyway, <laughs> aside from that, yeah, I may or may not get around to videoing this week. I'll try to, but I need to also, like I said, get my house in order and I got to get my shopping done. And um, I think I'm going to redo my bathroom. I'm not sure. And when I say that, I mean like, you know, just buying a matching towel set, you know, washcloth, hand towel, you know, and bath towel, and then uh, a shower curtain makes it seem like it's a new bathroom. Um, and I, my bathroom has neutral color. It's a, it's like this warm gray. And the guy looked at me like, are you sure you want to put gray in there? And I'm like, well, I tried to find a color that I could use on my walls that I could mix with all sorts of colors. So, and I figured a gray could go with pinks, it could go with blues, could go with, you know, just about any color I choose. So, you know, I thought I did pretty good on that. But anyway, I have to get going because this video is taking way longer than expected. But yes, so I will show later. I have to go buy some more of this stuff. And I guess I'll just have to stick with the glossy luster, luster kind, or however you pronounce that. Um... I'll just have to stick with that because that's what I used on this big, the big one here. So, yeah. And the big one here stuck a bit to my, um, my wax paper. So I have to, I don't know. I might go buy it, buy one of them, them silk, silk, silicone pads that you use for cooking. I might just buy one of those, a cheapy one or something that I can just use right here while I'm, you know, painting or whatever, because over, you know, I use my uh, uh, wax paper so much, it probably doesn't have too much wax left on it. That's why they, I had issue with it sticking. So, um, I don't know. I will keep you up to date on what I do, and I'll try to make videos. So, yeah, I said goodbye how many minutes ago? <laughs> <laughs> anyway okay for real this time all right well you have a great rest of your morning evening afternoon whenever you have to watch this and i hope you have a great day and all right bye